Howdy folks. Howdy YouTube. How y'all doing out there tonight? <laughs> or today or this morning. Whatever the hell it happens to be. Why are you watching this here video? My name is Andy. Y'all probably know that by now. But this uh, this video may be a little darker than, than my other videos. But I just feel like giving up on everything because everything sucks. Life sucks. My life sucks. Everybody sucks. Money problems. No relationship problems. Cold winter problems. The winter blahs. And then today I find out that the antidepressant medication that I'm currently taking I have to get off of completely or they're going to cut me off of the Suboxone that I take for opioid dependence. Basically Thy new director of the, the facility I go to for my Suboxone is saying that more or less you, you can't take Suboxone with this other list of medications, okay? And one of those medications happens to be Cymbalta. I've been taking Cymbalta and Suboxone together for freaking years! I haven't had any issues. Apparently, uh, it's supposed to make some Suboxone not work as well. Maybe that's why I needed to take more. Who the hell knows? I haven't noticed any negative side effects, at least not short term. I don't know if it's doing anything to me long term. I would certainly hope not, but I've talked to other doctors and none of them seem to think that there's any kind of interaction worries. I mean, they told me about the interaction worries between Suboxone opioid and like benzos like Xanax and things of that nature which I don't take but I never heard of any interaction between Cymbalta and Suboxone but now they're telling me basically you either get off Cymbalta completely or we're not going to give you Suboxone anymore which is a bunch of bullshit because um, <clears throat> that's the only thing that's barely got me hanging on as far as depression and anxiety is concerned and blusters withdrawal I don't know if you probably do a YouTube search for Cymbalta withdrawal. I'm sure you can find a lot of negative videos about people that have gone through it. <clears throat> it's almost worse than Suboxone or opiate withdrawal. I mean, it's like nausea, real bad nausea, headache, dizziness. All you want to do is lay down. You can't function. Uh, fortunately, I've been able to step down from 120 milligrams a day to 60 milligrams a day. So it should be easier to get off of it. And then I'm going to try to get down down to 30 a day or at least 60 every other day or something of that nature and I hope the hell that I don't get any really bad negative side effects from the withdrawal. Yeah, that's where I'm at today, so everything just fucking sucks.